My name is Andrea with Foodimentary Adventures in Food. Today I'm sharing a simple and delicious recipe for blueberry buckle with a crunchy brown sugar streusel. So let's get started. For the cake portion of the recipe, you'll need flour. I'm actually using cake flour because it makes the cake more tender. Um, if you decide to use cake flour, you'll need to add two extra tablespoons of cake flour per cup. I'm also using some fresh blueberries. If you wanna use frozen, you can. You'll just need to make sure that they are thawed and drained. Sugar. You're going to need butter and egg and milk, and all three of those are at room temperature. You'll also need baking powder and salt. For the crumble portion, you're going to need some brown sugar, flour, and I'm just using all-purpose flour here, butter, and cinnamon. Okay, so the beauty of this recipe is that you don't have to cream the butter and sugar all of that stuff separately. You just throw everything in there at once. So I've already got my egg in the bowl. I've got my butter. Here's my sugar, my baking soda and salt, powder, excuse me, and salt. My flour. And my milk. And I am just going to mix this with my hand mixer. Just gonna get this off of the side of the bowl. Extra flour. And now you're gonna gently fold in your blueberries. And I'm using about a cup and a half of blueberries. You can use anywhere from a cup and a half to two cups. Just gonna fold them in. So next, I've got an eight and a half inch um, pan here that I have buttered. I'm just gonna pour my batter in. And by the way, I've got my oven preheated to 350 degrees. And I'm just gonna set this to the side and we're gonna work on our crumble. Okay, I can't remember if I mentioned it or not, but I'll make sure to link the recipe in the description box. But one thing I wanted to mention is that the recipe does have a recipe for the crumble. I'm not using that recipe um, because I really like a brown sugar crumble. So I'll make sure to link my recipe for the brown sugar crumble in the description box as well. But all I've done so far is I've added in the um, all-purpose flour, the brown sugar, I'm gonna add in some cinnamon, I'm gonna mix it up and you can use a fork you can use a, a pastry cutter or you can use your hands which I may have to get in there with my hands just trying to break up the brown sugar a little bit and I'm gonna add my softened butter and by the way this is unsalted so you're just going to mix this up um, until everything is combined Okay, I've got my crumble all mixed up and all you're gonna do is sprinkle that brown sugar mixture all over the top. And I like a lot of crumble. If you're not that into crumble, you can definitely cut the sugar, um, I'm sorry, the topping, the crumble in half. All right, I'm gonna pop this in the oven for about 45 to 50 minutes or until it's done. Okay, so I just took this out of the oven and I'm going to let it cool completely and then I will cut a slice so you all can see what it looks like on the inside. Okay, so here's the blueberry buckle and I ended up baking this for 55 minutes and I've cut out a slice so you all can see the inside of it and here it is on the plate. So good, such a tender, delicate crumb. I hope you all enjoyed this recipe. If you did, please make sure to give me a thumbs up. If you have not subscribed to our channel, we'd certainly love to have you. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you all next time.